Las Vegas, Nevada. Probably one of the best known communities on earth. Las Vegas is a household word meaning fun, excitement, glitter, and glamour. Millions of tourists come here each year from around the globe to dazzle themselves in the incandescence of this big town. Among the attractions are the big hotels along the famous Las Vegas Strip. Here is where the world's most lavish stage productions and the brightest stars of show business appear every night of the year. In the two years since the last championship fight from Las Vegas, the town has grown at a fantastic pace. Within a radius of a few miles of the Strip are now more than 25,000 rooms in, in hotels and in motels. The gay white way of the West is brighter than Broadway and equally exciting. And action's also downtown in Casino Center. Here, too, as on the Strip, are the exciting casinos which make Las Vegas very famous. Casino gambling is one of the mainstays of the Las Vegas economy. And in Nevada, of course, it's legal and it's strictly supervised. Lately, though, there's been a different kind of action along the Strip. Here at the Thunderbird, part of the lavish hotel has been turned into a training camp for Floyd Patterson. And at the Stardust, Cassius Clay, or Muhammad Ali, as he'd prefer to be known, has also been in training, preparing for tonight's big fight. At the Dunes Hotel, representatives of newspapers, magazines, television, and radio from every corner of the globe have been congregating to cover this international sports event. This town has been taking on a, a new image as one of the nation's top sports centers. Championship events of all kinds, from golf to go-karts, have made Las Vegas a familiar dateline on the world's sports pages. Today, the crowds are here for the biggest sports event of them all, the world's heavyweight championship fight. And this is where they are, under the massive domed roof at the Las Vegas Convention Center. It was here that Patterson lost his rematch with Sonny Liston a couple of years ago. And tonight's fight is the 11th championship match to be held in this very building. Now, let's move inside. Operated. Promoted by Intercontinental Promotions Incorporated. Between the heavyweight champion of the world, Cassius Clay or Muhammad Ali, and the challenger, Floyd Patterson, the only man in the history of boxing to twice hold the world heavyweight boxing crown. Coming to you live from the fabulous convention center in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, Intercontinental Promotions Incorporated, Robert A. Nylon, President, in conjunction with the Silver State Sport Club, Jack Doyle and Mel Greb, co-promoters, and Sports Vision Incorporated presents 15 rounds of boxing for the heavyweight championship of the world, sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, John Bud Trainer Commissioner, James Deskin, Executive Secretary. The judges assigned here this evening are Harold Buck, Bill Dremel, the timekeeper, Lou Pearl, knockdown timekeeper, Steve Romeo, the referee, Harry Krupp. Positions in attendance are, in the red corner, Dr. Donald Romeo, in the white corner, Harold Archow. The principal from New York City, wearing black trunks, weighing 196 and three quarter pounds, the challenger, Floyd Patterson. From Louisville, Kentucky, wearing white trunks, weighing 210 pounds, the heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. Both of you boys will see this button earlier. Mandatory eight got his effect. 
We're trying to pick up Harry Krause's words to both men. Remember until I wave him out. On the inside, the one hand is tied up. I want you to break, I want you to step back and break clean. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? I'll step back and I'll shake hands if you're not fighting at the bell. Round one, 15 rounds. World Heavyweight Championship. Now the round begins. Cassius Clay seems contempt to just move. Hands very low. Halfway through round one. No, I was wrong on my timing. Only about 40 seconds left in the round. at this point. That's round one. All ready for round three. Got the best so far thrown in the fight. Beautiful left jab by Cassius Clay. And don't kid yourself, Floyd's not an easy target. Two minutes to go in round three. Oh, 
halfway through this third round. Minute to go in round three. Floyd keeping his hands rather high. Wants to put that left lead if he can and shoot that left hook. The left lead is hard to slip. Beautiful jazz. Fourteen, fifteen seconds to go in this third round. Man, they're exchanging good left at time. Closing second. We'll note that Floyd isn't leading. He's forcing the issue, but not leading with punches. He wants to counter the leads of play. Harry Krause, the referee, just asked the fellas to keep punching. And he asked Clay to stop chattering. He wants Cassius to stop talking. And to stop holding. One minute gone so far in round four. seconds of the fourth round. Outstanding World Heavyweight Championship fights here in America. How does this look for, to you right now? Well, there's no doubt about it, Steve, that all the young people in our audiences will talk about this man as we did Jack Johnson. 
He's absolutely incredible. I think it's Jack Johnson and Tommy Burns all over again. He's playing cat and mouse with him, or possum, as you call it here. And it does seem as though Clay has, pro has prophesied exactly what he would do, that he would punish him severely. Patterson's feet seem to be gone. He's, he, he just can't get any coordination going at all. At one time, he turned around there. He tried to flow a combination punch, but failed miserably. And those left jabs may seem as though they're only flicking, but they're hurting. They're piling up points of nothing else, Reg. Reg got a Reg of the London Evening News. Thank you, sir. And Reg just compared Gash's play with Jack Johnson, and that's a pretty good comparison. We're in round five. Floyd now wants Cash is to come to him. Yeah. Looks like he's going to do that, too. If you're concerned about the tail of the tape or the dimensions, Clay is six foot three and a fraction, while Floyd is an even six feet tall. And in reach, the reach for Clay is 79 inches, 71 for Floyd. So from the standpoint of dimension, the champion has it all over the challenger. Floyd is asking Clay to come to him. Seconds more in number five. Logan <laughs> seconds of this fifth round. This is number six.
big round for the champion. Very big. Ten seconds to go in this round. Take a knockdown. Mandatory eight count. They're refreshing, Patterson. Play put it on in the round six. Throw every punch in the book at him. Harry Krause handled the situation well. Mandatory eight count. We're still looking in at Floyd Patterson. Buster Watson talking. Buster Watson telling Floyd what he wants. Round seven coming up. vision tonight. Early bird satellite. We're being seen throughout England at this present time. Throughout Europe. South America. And of course we're being heard on ABC radio. Our friends Chris Shankle. Holly Cosell, Tommy Harmon, and Rocky Marciano are broadcasting this one on ABC. Close enough. He wants to unloose those left hooks, but he can't get the shot. <laughs> Uppercuts are damaging Floyd. And the jabs are offsetting him. Seventh round. <laughs> Up 
uppercut again doing the damage. for round number eight. had a cramp in, in his leg in between rounds. Why <laughs> still the flat footed stance Looking to get leverage, looking to tee off. Play with a with a beautiful left jab and left lead. Aiming shots all around the head and all around the body. And Floyd obviously slightly tired at this point. We're halfway through the fight. Halfway or less. to fight with hands down. Gives you a big target, but shoots leather from every angle. <laughs> 30 seconds to go on number eight. going right and then left then in then out a very tough target to gauge Floyd wants to unleash that big bomb of the chance we're in round number nine of the fight for the world title just for 15. standing his ground, not leading, looking to counter if he gets a chance. 
I believe that it's Floyd's back that's been bothering him. We've had a tremendously good show for the crowd here this evening. About 7,000 strong. And the general manager for Intercontinental, Al Boland, put on an excellent show. Floyd Hurt with that right hand shot. Buster Watson yelling instructions from that as he can, but Lloyd can't seem to get off. 30 seconds to go in this ninth round. Raising shot. Lloyd still walking, stalking forward. That's the end of number nine. That's definitely Floyd's back that's bothering him just a little. Buster Watson still talking with him. Al Silvani still trying to help the man. Nine rounds in the record book. Tenth round coming up. Been an interesting fight. Matter of ring style, as we pointed out early. Cassius Clay, the mover. Number 10. Well, did you think it would go this far? Lloyd's going to give it that do-or-die All-American try in this one. Buster Watson yelling, give it on, Floyd. Give it on. Champion can fight. In our pre-fight show for Sports Vision, Muhammad Ali told it. And those of you who saw it or heard it might remember that he said, I'm going to whip this man. I'm going to punish him. Floyd Patterson, dead game, still carries the big bomb. Still can hit a home run. Patterson has all the courage in the world. All the gameness that a first fighter can take in the ring with him. This man, his opponent, the champion, has all the shots that a fella can want. 
He can punch from every angle. Number 11. We've had 20 rounds thus far tonight. 10 in the semifinal, where Big Train Lincoln beat Babe Spencer. And now we're in the 11th of the World Championship this fight. Power. Roy has lost only four times out of 48 fights. He's won 44 and dropped four. Roy has a 21 and 0 record. 21 wins and 21 outings. Number 11. can slow down a little bit, but Floyd's still in there and still dangerous. Power punching all the way, and Buster Watson and Al Silvani working on him. Dr. Donald Romeo is in the corner at the present time talking with Floyd, asking about his back. That's the doctor on the outside of the ring apron on the right-hand corner of your screen. Referee Harry Cross was called in. Now let's see what's happening. We've gone through 11. Dr. Romeo talking with Krauss, talking with the corner. He seems to be okay. Harry, Harry, is that okay? Harry Krauss yells yes to us. Floyd's okay. Number 12 coming up. Talking to him. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we'll have Muhammad Ali over in just a minute. Hey, Muhammad, Angelo, Angelo, officer, get Muhammad Ali over. Momentarily, we'll get him over for you. Let's see what we can do. Here's the world champion, Muhammad Ali. Champ, was it a tough fight? I have to say one thing for Floyd. I was doing my best. This I know. And I'm just so surprised <laughs> that he could take so many punches. And I'd like to thank my leader, I'm Elijah Muhammad, for the prayers he just gave me. All praises due to Allah for giving him the strength to overtake a crowd booing against me and just beat a man merciful who's a fast, top-notch boxer. Muhammad. Thanks to Allah for the supreme boxing wisdom. All right, Muhammad, did you expect Floyd would go into the 12th round? No, I didn't. I figured the fight would go six or seven. But I wasn't taking no chances. He's a real man. Uh, he didn't fall. I really, I really hit him <laughs> with a lot of punches. With a lot of punches. Uh, did he hurt you at any time? No, he didn't. But I predicted that the way he's been talking about me, that I would give him a good whooping. And I'm so thankful that he did have the power to stand up like he did because that's what he got was a good whipping. All right, now we're going to replay uh, this 12th round if we can, uh, Claire. We, can we do it? In a little while, we're going to replay it for you. Uh, tell us this. Did you feel that you were way out front going into the 12th? 
Well, I knew I was way out front because I predicted that I would hit him about six times to his myth. And that's exactly what happened. And I think it's time for the boxing public, also the American public, to give me the justice that I'm due for actually saying what I would do, which this is the first time in history. All right, now, <laughs> who would you like to fight? We're not going to replay it back because that 12th round was rather slow. Uh, you were finding your target often. Uh, who would you like folks, to meet? I don't need anybody. Anybody at all? Yeah. Anybody at all? Anybody. All right. Them all. You're uh, in two. Right, hold it, hold You're it. Really no hold it. Don't, don't, don't be giving us any clues or any cues. Well, champ, <laughs> champ, I, I have a book I wanted to give Floyd that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad has out so that the American public and Floyd would better understand my religion, and it's called A Message to the Black Man. It's where on is, sale now all book? over the country. Where is it the now? The book was supposed to be here. Well, it's not but here. But it's not here now. 